Hey guys, and welcome back to Scotty Knows. Uh, today we're actually continuing to work on the Honda D6 motor. Um, so just some new stuff that I got in. Um, I got my new uh, Omni map sensor. It's a three bar. I don't plan on boosting it crazy, but I went ahead and got me a three bar um, as well as the throttle positioning sensor, uh, which is actually by Block. So I still got to tighten that up. Those come with a new gasket. It actually saved me from having to uh, drill out the stock throttle position sensor where you could typically grind off this nut here whatever you know kind of cut it and then spin it out and it comes out but I'm kind of going with new stuff so that's kind of the plan um, but also too I went ahead and got me a new fuel rail so I got the uh, Pro Series Golden Eagle I think it looks pretty good um, I went ahead with the o uh, AEM uh, fuel pressure gauge for our fuel pressure regulator there as well as a uh, pressure gauge. I'm not sure if I necessarily like this location because naturally this is the back of the motor so I may get an adapter where I can aim it up and look at it and all that good stuff but you know previously we installed most of the stuff on here so I'm getting there uh, but in today's video uh, rather in this video I'm going to go ahead and start working on some other parts. So I got my power steering pump here, some brackets, I got to get all that ready to go. Um, I did actually order a camshaft uh, that way I can go ahead and finish the head here get this valve cover put back on Still got a little bit of rework to do, get this run out of here, just little things like that. But plenty of stuff to go. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up some parts. I got some things ready to go. So let me get some cleaning supplies and we'll get to cleaning. Alright guys, so I'm in the other garage just because it's getting kind of dark outside. So I set up my little paint area here. I got the VTEC solenoid ready to go. Everything's taped up, cleaned off. It's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint this thing. I got everything kind of taped up. Everything kind of blocked off. Everything should be good to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the primer coat on. Um, just like everything else on this motor, I'm going to do the uh, cast aluminum paint. And we should be good to go. So I got the VTEC solenoid back in. Thing looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing unwrapped and kind of see how it looks. All right, so I didn't really finish, you know, showing how I painted everything, but VTEC solenoid's on. Everything is uh, nice and snug. Everything's on good. Um, also, I also installed the uh, bracket on this side. Went ahead and got that painted since we had a good day and got that mounted, so everything's looking good. Um, don't remember if I got to put the uh, cover on here first or this first, but either way, we'll, we'll get it together. Um, but in the meantime, I'm happy to say that I finally got my Crower Stage 2 turbo camshaft. So that means I can actually finish getting this head together. Um, I do have the new seals, all that good stuff. So now I get to figure out... Um, how to put this together so stay tuned and uh, we'll get this thing cleaned up a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and pop this thing in all right guys so it's been about a day or two uh, i finally got my little key here for my cam gear here so everything is looking pretty good i got everything cleaned up um, i do have some of the uh, assembly lube that came with the uh, crower cam so i'm gonna put some uh, liberal amounts of uh um, assembly loop, you know, on these little sections here, you know, kind of get things kind of lubed up and greased up a little bit. And then I do actually have, and they recommend putting some uh, zinc phosphate stuff on there, but I have some royal purple uh, break-in oil, so I'll put that a little bit over top of the cam uh, when I get it installed. So uh, let's get myself set up and we'll get moving. <laughs>
All right, so everything kind of went on pretty good, um, except for the problem that I ran into were a couple of the uh, bolts here. So, probably hard to see, but they're a little banged up here. So, I'm not gonna try to force it on. I'm actually probably just gonna order some new ones. Uh, that way it makes it good. But in the meantime, I could actually install my cam gear here and actually put the uh, key in. Then I should be able to slide this on. Kind of hard to do one-handed. So I went ahead and got the cam gear on. I, I kind of won't bolt that down yet till I get everything kind of tight. Um, but everything is looking good. Everything is lined up. Everything is lubricated, so I'm on the right path. So. That's where we're at. But I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, you know, unfortunately I can't get everything fixed through the uh, bolts and all that good stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and get new ones. So that'll probably be in the next video. Plus I'll get the uh, Skunk 2 cam gear bolted on, all that good stuff. But I do got my new uh, fuel pressure regulator. Got the plan around with some hoses and stuff. I had a big bag of hose here laying around. So just kind of getting things prepped for the uh, finishing the install. But it's coming along looking real good. Um, since I'm ordering some new bolts, I might go ahead and I'm kind of picky about that. And of course, too, I was just going to send it, but I might end up taking this off again and painting that since I got a little time between now and getting some new hardware. So might end up doing that, you know, getting a little picky with it. But on that note, we're getting somewhere. But thank you guys for watching. Still plenty of work to do on this motor build here. You know, I got to get the uh, bolts in. Do the valve lash, all that good stuff. So I appreciate you guys for watching, taking your time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate that. It definitely helps to support the channel. Um, but on that note, thank you. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. And until next time, peace.